Hi, Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Today we're going to be installing a Roush grill on our 2013 Mustang Gotta Have It Street. The Roush grill removes the fog lights to give your grill a much cleaner look. It'll fit both the 5 liter as well as the V6 cars and can be installed using basic hand tools in an afternoon. Roush provides the grill, detailed instructions, as well as the hardware necessary for installation. The installation will require the removal of your front bumper cover. If your car is lower, you'll need to support it up in the air to get to the lower bolts. For this installation, you'll need a lift or jack and jack stands, quarter inch ratchet, seven millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, small screwdriver or right angle pick, Phillips head screwdriver, and safety glasses. We have our 2013 Gotta Have It Street up on the lift to begin the installation. The first step is to remove the factory bumper cover so you can remove the grill. To begin, you wanna remove the cover on top of your radiator support. It's removed by simply taking out these eight tabs. To remove the tab, you want to pull up on the center section using a small screwdriver or a pick. The center tab will remove, then you can use your pick to pull out the rest of the tab as well. Now you want to repeat the process to remove the other seven tabs. Once you've removed all eight tabs, you can lift up on the cover and put it aside. Once you remove the cover, there's four more pin type retainers and four eight millimeter bolts that have to be removed. These retainers use a Phillips head. You simply unscrew the Phillips head and pull the retainer out. Next, you want to move on to the four eight millimeter bolts. Now you want to turn your wheel to the right so you can access the three seven millimeter bolts on the side of your cover. Now you want to repeat the same process for the other side of the car. Now you want to put your car up on a lift or up on jack stands so you can access the three 7mm bolts holding on the outside of the valance. I want to repeat the process with the other side. Next step is to remove the lower air deflector. Held in place, six 8mm bolts in the front, five 7mm bolts in the rear. Now move on to the five rear 7mm bolts. You can now remove your lower air deflector. While you're under the car, you want to remove the plug for your marker lights. So you can press the end of the plug and slide out. Repeat the process for the other side. Now you're ready to remove your bumper cover. You want to reach behind the end and pull out to separate the tabs between the cover and the fender. Same thing on the other side. Now you want to grab the top of the cover and pull outward and down to remove the cover itself. At 
this point, you'll need to disconnect your fog lights before you can remove the cover. Now you can put your cover aside. Before you can remove your factory grill, you have to remove the factory fog lights. Each one is held in place by three 7 millimeter bolts. The factory grill in your 2013 is going to be a two-piece design. There's an inner grill and an outer grill. The Roush Performance Grill is only going to replace the inner grill, so you want to make sure that's the only one you remove. There's two style tabs. You'll see a tab with a painted surface coming through. That holds the outer grill. You want to leave those alone. This style tab holds your inner grill. These are the ones you're going to want to remove to install your Roush Performance Grill. You want to apply slight pressure on the grill to remove it. Once you get the first tab, the other tabs will usually follow suit. You want to use a small screwdriver, just push the tab back and press down. Now you can place your inner grill aside. You're now ready to install your new grill using the supplied hardware. You want to make sure the metal end of the tab is facing outward on the grill when installed. Roush applies one metal clip for each plastic tab on the grill. Simply place it on top, press it down into place. Now you're ready to install your grill by aligning your tabs and pressing it into place. and you're ready to reinstall back on your vehicle. Our plan is to eventually relocate the fog lights down to the bottom of the bumper. For now, we're just gonna tie the harnesses up out of the way. And now we're ready to reinstall our bumper cover. Installation will just be the reverse order of how you took it apart. That completes the installation of the Roush Performance Upper Grill on a 2013 Mustang. Expect to take about two hours to install this part, so you'll be back on the road in no time.